What happens to us after we die? Do our memories, our personalities, everything that makes us who we are, does it all just disappear? Or do we have a, a conscience, a, a soul that lives on? Well, that is what we'll try and find out. Richmond, Virginia, September 5th, 2005. David Schwartz goes to the hospital to be treated for what he believes is a nagging ear infection. But in fact, his illness is much, much worse. I checked myself into the emergency room. And that was Monday afternoon. And by Tuesday afternoon, I was in a coma. My kidneys were shut down. All of my organs were failing. And the blood flow was lost to my brain stem as well, which would have meant brain death. They told my mom and my dad that really that I had a limited amount of time left. With their son facing certain death due to kidney failure, David's parents were willing to try anything that might help him. So they reached out to Scarlett Heinbuck, a woman who, after having a near-death experience in childhood, claimed to be gifted with incredible healing powers. When I walked in David's hospital room for the first time, I knew he was near death. He was unconscious, and I took his hand, and I was standing right by his bedside when all of a sudden I was out of my body in another realm. He was hovering there, and there was the soul connection, and I felt him with every fiber of my being, and he made a decision at that point to come back. When I first awoke and saw Scarlett, I had the sense that I knew who she was, and I knew everything about her. David looked up at me, and all of a sudden, the next thing I was aware of was that I was seeing four beings. They were tall, and they were colored blue. I saw them manifesting a set of kidneys, if you will. I saw the kidneys being dropped into his body. David's recovery after that was so stunning that the doctors and nurses at this hospital called a miracle boy. When I came out of the coma, it was absolutely because we had an experience. I don't know what happened there, but I do know that it happened because the doctors told me that they didn't have an explanation as to why I was making the recovery that I was making. Today, David Schwartz has two fully functioning kidneys, and both he and Scarlett Heinbuck have no doubt in their minds that it was the powerful connection between their souls that saved David's life. 